All right, welcome back. It's back to the basics, and we are talking port security. Everything from Mac security to 8021X. I'm pretty secure about this idea. Let's go. All right, welcome back. It's back to the basics, and we are talking port security, and that's Ethernet port security. So what is port security? Well, there's a couple of things. One is there is a, a port security feature you can turn on your switches, and so if I connect into that, that port, we could do things like how many MAC addresses am I going to allow to be connected into that port? So for example, if I connect a laptop in, uh, that's going to be one MAC address in theory. Um, if I had a virtual machine on my laptop, maybe that's two MAC addresses. If I had a IP phone, and that's plugged directly into the switch, and I plug my laptop behind the, the IP phone, that's going to be two, two MAC addresses and maybe a third if I have a virtual machine running. So what I could do is say most users will not have more than three MAC addresses on a given port. And if they do have more than three MAC addresses on a port, it could be one of a number of things. One is they have many virtual machines on their, on their computer, but the more likely scenario is somebody has plugged in a hub or a switch, or even worse, a wireless AP that you don't know about. So turning on MAC address security or MAC security around how many MAC addresses are allowed to connect on a single port can control, uh, can, can help with that. Additionally, we can enable a feature called dynamic ARP inspection. And so what that does is we did a video on DHCP, but when a machine requests a D, an IP address, the security on that port is gonna know that it requested to this DHCP server, it got this IP address, and if it tries to impersonate another IP address, it's gonna shut that port down. So if like I wanted to impersonate the gateway, for example, it would know that I'm not the gateway and it would shut that, that port down and that would provide some additional security on the network. Additionally, 802.1x is a feature we could enable on an ethernet port to authenticate users. So those are, those are uh, technologies that um, you can enable. So real quick, why would I need it? Well, I want to secure my network. I don't want unauthorized people on the network. That would be 802.1x. I want to limit people from plugging in wireless APs and having a bunch of people connect to it. That'd be another reason. Um, and, and really just general best practice security, uh, preventing people that don't have access to get to the network preventing people from putting in rogue devices onto the network. That's another reason. Um, so when to use it? I would say any port that is accessible, like a conference room port especially, to people that are coming into the, in and out of your environment. So if you're at a, in an office building and you've got a conference room and you have contractors and guests and things like that coming into conference rooms, you'll wanna secure those ports so that they can't get access to your network or put some type of backdoor that allows them to have remote access. And in theory, really, every port should have uh, port security on it, but really those public use workspaces or those public spaces where people are coming in and out and you really don't control who's got access to that physical port. So that's it on port security. Tons of it, Mac security. We've got 802.1x. Uh, we've got DHCP snooping with dynamic ARP inspection. We talked a little bit about all those. If you want to know more about those technologies, just leave a comment. Let us know. We'll do a video for you. And if you liked it, Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next Back to the Basics. Peace out.